Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. And I'm very happy to say that I am back once again with the amazing Dunkerton's Cider Company. I'm pretty sure that aside from their craft, which is their latest release, this is the last in their range that I have yet to review. And, well, it just so happens to be quite a special one. Today, I am trying out a bottle of their vintage cider. Look at that lovely artwork, isn't that amazing? Now, what I will say is this is the old artwork, so when you see the vintage, it's gonna have a different label to it, which actually still looks very, very classy. So, you know, some people don't like the new labeling, but I personally think that both are equally as good as each other. Um, as it says on here, celebrating 30 years, but uh, this bottle is mm, a little bit older than that now. So uh, they've been going a little bit longer than 30 years now. Uh, press fermented, and and bottled by Dunkertons and founded in Herefordshire. Now, I bought this in uh, Borough Market in London. There's um, a little um, cider bar over there and you can buy um, certain bottles. I got um, the Oliver's, um, oh, what's it called? I got an Oliver's cider from there and I got this one. So, uh, you know, very, very good. Um, and, and as you can see, it comes in Big old 660 milliliter bottles, um, which is fantastic. I don't know if it can come in any other ranges, but if it does, it'll go in the description below. And uh, this bad boy comes in at a very respectable 7.5% ABV. So most people would say this is a uh, sharing bottle, but well, I plan on having all this by myself, but we shall see. And uh, just in case you are wondering, there is Susie and Ivor Dunkerton on the back of the bottle. So these are the, uh, well, the masterminds behind these amazing ciders. So let's see what it says. Susie and Ivor Dunkerton began pressing rare cider apples from the old museum orchard in the neighboring hamlet of Broxwood in the autumn of 1981. We were determined to make the best cider in Europe. The process of understanding qualities of each variety was slow but fruitful. This led to the establishment of our own orchards. With additional apples from local farmers, we have created a new blend celebrating over 30 years of cider making at Hayes Head. And like all the other Dunkerton ciders, this one is completely organic. So um, if you're into that sort of stuff, then Dunkerton's is definitely the way to go. So apologies uh, for the noise in the background. Once again, the wash is on. Can't seem to get a break with these noises, can I? Right, let's waste no more time. Let's get this top off. Nice little hiss on the bottle opening there, nice. Oh, okay. That is oaky. That is tannic. That is essentially, that is essentially all the aromas, all the aromas that a vintage cider should be. So, I am not gonna pour all of this out, obviously, because it is a big 660 ml bottle, but I'll get about, get about half it in. There we go, that'll do for now. The rest can go over there. So let's uh, go in for the color. And well, as you can see, lightly carbonated, lovely, beautiful, light golden color there, almost um, straw color like. And it has got a little bit of haziness behind it. So this is um, not a completely filtered cider. So, I mean, normally most of our Dunkerton ciders are filtered, but this one is most definitely not. So. Looks very, very nice. What does it smell like? Oh, wow. Okay. That is, that is smelling. That's smelling rather bitter on the nose, actually. Very sharp. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, almost got a touch of, um, trains. Almost got a touch of, uh, I want to say nail, nail polish remover behind it. Just a real sharpness to it. But that's also, that's also smelling dry. There's a um, touch of touch of earthy woodiness underneath everything as well. Cool. Oh, yes. I mean, this uh, smells like this cider is going to mean business. So let's waste no more time. Let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. And once again, here's to Dunkerton Cider Company with their vintage. Cheers. Yep. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, that is good. Dunkertons just never fail to impress me. They, ne they never fail to impress me. Um, this is a fantastic vintage. It's, um, it's probably up there with uh, one of the best I've tried, to be fair. Um, it's just got all the classic makings of a vintage cider. You instantly hit with um, an initial quite sharp, tart um, flavour from it. However, that does very quickly mellow out. And then you get those lovely woody, earthy, oaky undertones to everything. Um, and surprisingly, it does actually turn out to be a little bit sweet on the back end as well. Do you know what? It's got a little bit of fruitiness behind it. Subtle caramel undertones to it. I'm even getting some sort of some sort of citrus fruit, like a, a navel orange or something, just uh, underlying everything as well. And do you know what? This is dangerously drinkable. I would not say this was 7.5% ABV. Not at all. This is uh, this is going down really, really smoothly for sure. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that is good. Despite it being dry, despite it being a vintage, it's quite refreshing as well. Super, yeah, just super fruitiness, but those lovely oaky woody undertones on the aftertaste as well. My mouth is just lovely and dry. Oh, l fantastic. Such a complex vintage. Uh, normally, um, certain vintages are quite one-dimensional. This is most definitely not. This is... Uh, yeah, up there with one of the best vintages I have ever tried. Um, so, Dunkertons have done it once again in my eyes. With that said, let's go for a final taste before a final verdict. Oh, yeah. Oh. I, could, I could drink that all day long. And to be fair, I probably will because it is in a big 660ml bottle. Um, that's, that's fantastic. That is a superb vintage. He's so easily drinkable despite the strength. Lovely complex flavours behind it. Every sip you're getting a different flavour to it. Caramelly, citric, sharp, tart, a little bit sweet sometimes on the back end. It's just got the whole lot in, the, in this vintage. So I would definitely say keep your eyes peeled for this one because I would actually say it's up there with one of Dunkerton's best. And um, well, <laughs> I've said that with a lot of them. So, you know, they clearly know how to make a cider so with the with that said getting the chalks out in fact do you know what hold on <clears throat> where's that other one there it is for a final verdict i am going to go and give dunkerton's vintage which is celebrating 30 years well 30 plus years of their uh, cider making experience a 9.5 out of 10 and the cider drinker seal of approval Um, yeah, superb, absolutely superb. Dunkerton's just can't do any wrong in my eyes. If you've never tried a Dunkerton cider out before, well, I mean, you can get their Black Fox quite easily. Um, you can get it in Waitrose. Sainsbury's have just started stocking it as well. That's a great introduction into the Dunkerton's range. And I would definitely highly recommend that you go and try out um, some more of their ciders because they are absolutely bloody superb. With that said, that's another episode of the Cider Drink for you guys. I hope you liked it. And as usual, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. Until then... Cheers, Dunkertons, and uh, keep on doing the fantastic work because, well, you just produce some amazing ciders. Take care, guys. Till next time. <laughs>